So this is Miss Devoted Tip, my first radio interview. As you can see, I'm gonna be going on air soon, but you know I had to bring y'all and share all my new experiences. Um, I got my headphones on, I got my questions. I guess I'm ready. He's in there with the tunes, and I'm in here with the mic. And this is the cough sneeze button, so. I'm probably gonna need that because I know my life. Hi, DJ Lion. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Hey. You ready we for your interview? I think so. We about to see. Hello, mommy. Inside the extended lunch break here. On Something don't feel right. Caribbean 401. Do remember today is Wednesday, Taking Care of Business Wednesday, where I will be joined by the beautiful and talented Tiffany Wright. Keep it locked right here at 2.30 p.m. We're going to get kicking. All right, here's King Bobo. We're calling in sick, all right? Please. But, um, but before we get into all of that, I just want you to take us a little bit to the beginning. Of your journey. Okay, let's um, take it back. <laughs> just give us a little bit of um, a little bit of your childhood. What led up to you um, being interested in the performing arts, and what inspired you? Well, my childhood was a pretty good. Um, I always had hardworking parents. I did grow up um, in a divorced family, so it was time back and forth between my dad and my mom. And I also um, had a stepdad that married my mom when I was very young, so he was definitely a second father to me. Um, things got a little rocky as I got a little bit older. Definitely was a little less peace in the home. and. Um, that did become one of the things that turned me to the arts. I would always turn to music and I would turn to dance as kind of like my outlet when I was sad and alone in my room. And so it just kind of went from there. Only do one. Mm -hmm. Which of these would, would be that one? That is a great question and it is an easy question. It would definitely be Devoted Dance Company. That is um, the gift that God has given me for sure and um, I have like pages of concepts for choreography and I love to minister and dance and that is that is the end game is to uh, be a full-time choreographer with a dance company. Um, I have not tried to rush that because I want to make sure that I'm prepared um, as far as my dance education goes, that's important to me because I started late in life. So I've just been focusing more so on my education and training right now because I want to be the type of choreographer that can demonstrate pretty much anything she asks her dancers to do. Awesome. Yeah. All of that. So who are you when all those hats are taken Oh, I wasn't expecting this question. Sorry, all the Beyonce fans will know what I just did. But um, I like to veg out. Like I am an introvert, so I like that time by myself to just kind of recharge. Um, when I'm not doing any of those things, I'll probably be at home watching reality TV because I am a big reality TV fan. Um, I am a foodie, so I like to try new recipes and cook. I like to um, try new restaurants, especially mom and pops. My support for local isn't just with local performing artists. I love to support local businesses as well. So I love to hit me up like a little hole in the wall mom and pop. Or if it's like a food truck or something on the side of the road, I'll pull up on that. Um, I'm into audiobooks right now. Love audiobooks um, and naps. Uh, that's pretty much what I do. I was gonna say young person, but I'm old, so. Well, you know, you look that old. Thanks. Well, what would be your advice to anyone looking to get into the performing arts industry? What would be your advice to them? It would be to, first of all, have a game plan as far as sometimes I feel like artists don't put as much time into being organized or to being thoughtful about their process. They just want to create. Um, but I think it's as if it's something you want to do professionally, 
it's as important to invest into the other side of things like pricing sheets, booking forms, um, business cards, uh, demo reels, um, you know, developing your network. Like performing artists are a business too. So when you see a networking event, don't think just because you don't have like a business quote unquote that you shouldn't go. Like you're a business yourself. And I think a lot of times artists just hang around other artists. And you also need to hang around non-artists because other artists aren't going to book you if you need to, um, you know, want somewhere to perform at. It's going to be when you went to that networking event and you met like an event planner or you met like a person that is like, you know, working at a corporate event and their manager might ask, well, we're looking for a singer for our Christmas party um, at the end of the year. Oh, yeah, I met that girl at the networking event. So think about the business side of your craft. Um, other piece of advice I would give is audition, 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 perform, perform, perform. Sometimes people get tired of, um, you know, performing, but you never know who's going to be watching. You never know um, who will spread the word about your performance. And you can't always live virtually. You have to get out in front of people. That being said, you do need to have a virtual presence as well. I can't even tell you how many performers have um, crossed the path of some celebrity just because they were good about putting stuff on their YouTube, on their Facebook, on their Instagram, and um, the right person came across it or shared it. And it's like, you know, you can say you're a performer all day, but people need to be able to see what you are doing. Like, you have to put your content out there. And then for dancers and singers and actors, I would definitely say never stop training. Um, take classes. You've been dancing for 20, 30 years, still take classes. Um, keep yourself fresh. Don't get too comfortable. And just always remember why you do it and remember that your gift deserves to be seen by people. Somebody's waiting to connect with your style and your voice and your creativity. And they need to see it. Our, our gifts and talents aren't for us. They're for to bless others and to encourage others. So just, you know, remember why you do it and surround yourself with positive people and someone that is more talented than you that you can take information and mentorship from. I know that was a lot of advice, but that's a really passionate subject for me. <laughs>